co-ops and co-ownerships. They sound alike, but they're actually very different types of transactions. You don't come across these very often. We happen to have a co-ownership for sale right now. So I thought it'd be a good time to highlight the differences. In a co-op, owners don't actually own a piece of property, a piece of real estate. They own a share of a corporation that owns the real estate. They actually occupy the units as tenant shareholders. In a co-ownership, the owners have an actual undivided interest in the real property. So they actually own a percentage of the property. They occupy and they can use the units as tenants in common. Now, as tenants in common, that gives them some rights and the ability to actually divest what they've purchased the property for. So they can sell their piece of the property. One thing to know too, in a co-op, a co-op can't generate profit. They have to run at cost. And the main difference between these two types of transaction is in one scenario, you own a, basically a piece of a company. In the other, you actually own a piece of that property, that building, that structure. As an undivided interest, you own a percentage of that and you can actually sell off that piece of property.